Hello everybody and welcome to my uh, very small presentation on uh, what I have done with the uh, Connect SDK for Windows. Um, as of when this video was recorded, uh, which is the 17th of June 2011, the Connect SDK has been out for I think about 24 hours, uh, possibly less than that. So um, I don't have an Xbox but I went and picked up a Connect today. Uh, just so I could have a fiddle around with it, have a look at you know some of the code samples that Microsoft have already made, maybe make some of my own stuff. Um, so I'm about to show you five, five or six hours uh, of what I've done, just sort of fiddling and making pieces of software for it. Uh, hope you enjoy. The first thing I tried out was some of uh, Microsoft's example software that comes with it. Um, and here is a little game uh, that they made where the idea is just to burst all the shapes which come down from the top of the screen. Um, I, I, I guess it's more to show the potential of what you can actually do with it than anything else. Uh, you, there's also voice commands, so you can say purple stars, yellow circles, bubbles, and the shapes will change. Um, the idea is that I think you hit them twice and it bursts. If you get a flashing one, that's five points. If you get a normal one, it's one point. Yeah, it gets boring very, very quickly. So um, I moved on to uh, to something else. Next, I moved on to something more interesting, which is the skeletal tracking software that Microsoft provides by default. Um, as you can see, you get four readouts, one showing the frames per second um, of the camera footage. Uh, one showing the actual camera footage, one showing the depth, and one showing your skeleton. Um, the skeleton at this moment in time tracks 20 places on your body. Uh, that ranges from uh, your elbow joint, your wrist joint, your knee joint, your foot joint, all that, um, all those places. However, not specific places like um, the joints in your hands or the joints in your foot, or um, it doesn't recognize any, uh, any facial stuff like um, your lips moving or... Um, Oh, sort of eyelids or anything like that. Um, in time, I'm sure either me or someone will develop something for it if it's indeed possible. Like I said, this thing's only been about out 24 hours or less, so um, the documentation on it isn't exactly perfect. Using the code Microsoft has already provided uh, for this application, I decided to um, to modify it so it would just recognise your upper body. Uh, my thinking about this would be. If you were using this, you'd be sitting at a desk, or you'd be, you know, using a keyboard or mouse. You wouldn't be standing up, waving your hands around all over the place unless you were playing a game. At the moment, Microsoft One detects your entire body. If you're sitting down, it still tries to detect the legs, and the legs sort of flail all over the place if you're sitting down. Therefore, I thought, is it possible to get rid of your legs from the software? Um, I tried it, and I had limited success. Um, it seems to be okay if you raise your hands above your head, everything seems to be fine. If you raise them sort of mid-body-ish, uh, the hand and the arm tracking seems to go off a bit. So um, that will be something to look into again when more documentation comes out and when I have more time. The next thing I decided to experiment with is the uh, the Connect's voice recognition. Now we've all seen the adverts where you can go Connect Netflix or Connect Bing, search Ford cars, and it'll give you Ford cars or whatever. Um, we also all know that there's been lots of applications on Windows and Mac um, which do the same thing but have absolutely sucked. Uh, the Connect, however, is actually halfway competent at doing stuff. Um, by default, it's got a speech recognition where you say um, red, green, and blue, and it tells you if you've said red, green, or blue fairly standard. So I took that and decided to modify it and say, well, surely by doing that you could open up some programs. Um, so by adding a couple more lines of code um, and adding a couple of if-else statements here and there, uh, I modified it so it does actually open applications. Now it's a bit buggy so um, the next couple of minutes or seconds will just be uh, me not really talking about it. So uh, here's what the application I made actually does. Computer open notepad. Computer close notepad. 
computer open Firefox. Computer close Firefox. Computer open C cleaner. Computer close C cleaner. And uh that that's pretty much it. Um the problem is that as you can see how it works, it hypothesizes what you've said, um and then using what you've said it tries to recognise it. Um I thought a way to improve this would have a distinct char a distinct word at the beginning, such as computer, so computer open this, computer open that. However, it didn't turn out like that. It just turns out whatever the hell you say, it tries to recognize it. However, when you do actually say a proper sentence of an application you want to open, such as computer open Firefox, computer close Firefox, it actually goes and does it, which is pretty useful. Um, now, there just needs to be a way that it recognizes the word computer before anything else, because at the moment, it doesn't matter what I say, computer will always show up first for some reason. See, if I say anything, it'll just go, yeah, it's just sort of, and there you go, notepad's opened. Um, so taking this idea, I thought, why don't we apply it, or to a computer game, you know, that's what this thing's for, gaming, so surely you could have voice recognition in a game. Uh, so that's what I did next. Okay, so uh, here we are on the game of Star Wars Republic Commando. Um, the idea of this game is you have a squad, you can give them orders, you can tell them to detonate walls and hack terminals and move them into different positions. Um, at the moment I'm very early on in the game, so I only have one squad member here who is Scorch, but that's okay. Um, and by default you give them orders using the, uh, the function key, so F1, F2, F3, and F4. Um, however, I'm using the Connect SDK, uh, I've used the speech recognition, so hopefully it should recognise my voice when I issue commands. So at the moment, Scorch is in search and destroy mode. Which means he'll st try and stay ahead of me as much as possible while staying in cover, so he, he takes up point and I ring up the rear. So say I want Say I want to take point and keep my squad behind me. Well, all I've got to do is press shift and say... Form up. Delta squad forming up. Forming up, boss. And there you go. Forms up on me. Hello. On the move, awaiting orders. Bit too close, uh, maybe. Um, if I want him to uh, go back, take point, because I'm scared and I want to ring up the rear, all I've got to do is hold down shift and say... Search and destroy. Take offensive formation. Yes, sir. And there he goes, taking point again. Uh, it takes a couple of seconds for the Connect SDK um, just to... It hypothesizes what my voice is saying, and then using a list of keywords, try and match what I might have said with what I've actually said. Um, so say I want him to secure a specific area, uh, say down here. You can hold down shift and say... Secure area. Secure that area. Yes, sir. And there we go. Off he trots down there, and he won't move from that position until I tell him to. Uh, okay, so um, let's get him back on point. Search and destroy. Take offensive formation. Yes, sir. Off he goes. I hope. Come on. There we go. Uh, now say I want him to blow up this door. Uh, orders. I can look at the door, hold down shift and say... Do some shit. Commence demolitions maneuver, Delta. Scorch, and priming charge. he starts blowing up that door. If I want him to stop, I can hold down shift and say... Cancel. Let's move on. Roger that. And he stops detonating it. So let's have him blow it up now. Do some shit. Do some shit. We could use a hole here, Deltas. Scorch, priming charge. It's hot, boss. And I can also blow it up by saying... Do some shit. Fire in the hole. Boom. And look, it's my other squad mate. Uploading and linking with your visor, sir. Okay, so now i got Delta two squad League, members. Advise you task 4-0 with slicing that security shield. He is supremely qualified. Once again, oh, not done here. talking. 
Okay. Uh, so once again, I can just look at the console and say, you, "Do some shit." Let's crack that terminal, Delta. You got it. And off he drops. Uh, I can also just use the function keys like normal. So if Three, I wanted to cancel doing that, two, I can just press F4. One. Let's move on. He stops doing maneuver, it. Sir. I can press F2. Let's form up. And they're going to form up. I can press F3. Yes, sir. Go secure some random area. Six, two, taking position. Or again, I could just use voice controls. Form up. Let's form up. Forming up, boss. Do some shit. Let's crack that terminal, Delta. Watch the master at work. Flash complete. Security sir. shield disabled. We're in. Take that, sir. Confirm kill. Secure area. Hold that position. Yes, sir. There we go. Form Delta up. squad forming up. Forming up, boss. Do some shit. You could use some Bacta, Delta. Acknowledged. Retrieving Bacta. Commando healed. Search and destroy. Take offensive formation. Yes, sir. Oh. And off they trot. You're nearing a secure door leading to the hangar. Activity in the hangar suggests that they are unaware of your presence. I advise slicing the controls to this door and entering quietly via a door slice maneuver. Okay. Do some shit. Unlock that door, Delta. Watch my back for a tick. Almost done here. Cancel. Let's move on. Affirmative. Moving on. Always on one second. Um, so yeah, uh, as you can also see, there's um, hand gestures. Defend this position. So yeah, defend sir. the position. Take offensive formation. Form Roger offensive that. Formation. Delta squad forming up. Forming, forming up, up. Um, And as you can see, these are all fairly distinct hand gestures. Uh, my hope is in the future. Um, at the moment, the Connect SDK can only recognize uh, certain parts of your body. So um, your elbow joint, your shoulder joint, your neck joint, um, your ankle joint, your knee joint, that sort of thing. It, it doesn't recognize um, hands. Uh, so hopefully someone or I will uh, create um, something which will allow you to actually stick your hand up in the air, the Connect recognizing the command. So because as you can see, they're Let's all... Form up. All fairly up, distinct recognizable commands yes, sir. that Hold you could position. easily do, Roger that. and that the Kinect could easily pick up. So um, hopefully, when you get more points of reference on your hand, uh, you'll be everyone? able to um, execute commands just by waving your hand around, which would be quite cool. Um, but at the moment, uh, I've just done the voice stuff, so do some shit. Let's do this quietly, Delta. Watch my back. Search and kick. destroy. Door slice, sir. Waiting on your word. Take offensive formation. Bugs! Excellent shot, sir. Advisor, we've located a pair of Geonosian fighters in the hangar. We don't want them to be used against us. Oh, Destroy where'd you come from? Target uploaded to your objective tracker. Fed mechanical down. Efficient kill, Commando. Secure area. Secure that area. Yes, sir. I'm out. Reloading. Do some shit. Let's rearrange some architecture, Delta. Scorch, priming charge. With red, red, green, or red, green, red. Zero enemy targets in sight, sir. Charge armed and ready. Great. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, do some shit. Stand back, Doubters. Uh, do you think we used enough? Oh, that was murderous. Form up. Let's form up. Forming up, boss. It's getting a little dark here. Delta squad, switch to visor mode. Got a visual on some mechanicals. Search and destroy. Take offensive formation. Roger that. To the scrap heap. Switching to night vision. On your 
To be fair, this game is awesome. I don't know why they never bothered making a sequel to it. Um, apparently I have to go this way. Oh, some ammo here. Four Watch up. out for those spikes! Switch off that voice, Delta. It's plenty bright in here. Aye, sir. Four Good. Up. Now use the demo charge to clear the path. Do some shit. Powering up. Let's rearrange some architecture, Delta. Four O readying explosives. Coming. Charge is on. Do some sir. shit. Do some shit. Fire in the hole. Let's move, Delta Squad. Delta Lead, you need to keep your squad focused and under your direction. Use your squad commands to get results. Droid eliminated. Get me. We Use the function keys for issuing squad commands. <laughs> yeah, if you're a loser, search and destroy. The Geonosians are aware of your presence and are on high alert. Expect heavy resistance. Search and destroy. Take offensive formation. Yes, sir. Okay, I think I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you can see that there is some potential in this product. I mean, I have only been fiddling around with it, uh, you know five or six hours and um, you can already see I've implemented a game which is god six years old and has had no previous voice recognition software on it so um, it's got a lot of potential I think to connect for Windows. Uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, have a nice day.